Okay, today I'm going to take and share with you uh, one of the other things that I did get and receive uh, in my orders over this uh, 4th of July sale. And it's a rearming kit for your uh, automatic, automatic life vest that uh, if they do go off, you have to you have to rearm them because they actually have a CO2 cartridge inside that allows you to uh, inflate it while you're either unconscious or unable to or you fall off. And today I'm going to do uh, the one which I had armed before. There was a mistake, and what I did, I, I, I put the new one in, but I accidentally uh, put it back next to the bulkhead, and the bulkhead actually had, uh, uh, co had condensation on it and had leaked into uh, into the vest and had it go off again. So I'm having to take and rearm rearm this one that went off once already okay I've taken a uh, this apart taking the uh, little cap off the bottom and you remove that I go ahead and remove the co2 cartridge also you say it's been punctured in the end which lift this off and you can see the corrosion where is it right there on that which uh, allowed it's all corrode which allowed those little fins to pop open and release the pin you know first you get it out and you want to put the uh, other pit the other cap back in you put it down with the, the cake side down inside it goes on quite hard and you take and it's got little little things all around there on the outside little fins and there's places for it to fit inside uh, your little army thing. It has to fit a certain way. So it fits up on top where this one, when I took it off, it was all the way down in it already released and went in. So this one actually kind of sits on top. And you fit it in there. There's little pins. And it screw it back on all the way, all the way tight. And that pushes this little green thing down, which means it's okay. It's ready to go. And then you also, it's got this extra little green cap that when this thing goes off, it fires this cap off and this release shows you the red part showing that it's been, been used. So if you can't, so if this is red and this is red, you know it's, it's been used. So make sure that they're always ones that you have that they're green green there and green here and you have to let's see how they go on I guess just like that they fit inside that little thing the little slots for them to fit in just like that so it fits in nice and snug. So now you got all this in. This old cap's gone. The old cap's gone. Make sure you get rid of these. And then I'll take and put in the CO2 cartridge. And there's different uh, different vests require different grams of stuff. This one, for instance, uses uh, 24. And my big one, 
which is still good, uses a 33. So always check your uh, your light test to make sure how many grams of CO2 you need, because otherwise it'll blow it up too much, or it won't blow it up enough. So after you do that, go ahead and screw your CO2 cartridge back in. All the way, as tight as it goes. Make sure everything is right. You've got cartridge in all the way. You got your green cap on here. It's green down here. And now just close this back up. Make sure it's all sealed. I don't know what just happened there. The thing went off. I got some other thing on my phone I have to try to get off. But anyway, that now you have one that works again. It's gonna be safe. People aren't gonna fall overboard and it not 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 come off. Like I said, I have uh, one for my big one because the CO2 cartridge says after three years you should change it because they get wore a little bit of moisture, a little bit of dampness can take and slowly deteriorate that little white cake that's in there. And so it won't, uh, it may prematurely ignite. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Uh, so just make sure that uh, you check those out Check the date on your thing, and and don't let it get too old. Like I said, I, I've got one for my big one, too, that I'm going to take, and I probably will put it back on before too long, but I might give it a little bit more time if I have one for the, for the big one also. But uh, these things cost, I'd say, like 30-some bucks. So it's not cheap, but I guess when, it, when you consider what your life is worth, it's pretty reasonably priced. I would pay $30 to save my life, wouldn't you? So that's, that's it for right now. Uh, it's the day after the 4th of July. Cloudy, cool, not so bad. Uh, waterways haven't gotten crazy yet because everybody partied last night. I'm sure they're still home sleeping at all. But today will still be a crazy day on the water. Not a day I'd want to spend out there. But if you like craziness, today's the day you need to go out there. All right, y'all. Thanks for uh, watching this with me. I appreciate it.